Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how responsive the air fuel ratio gauge is for the AEM wideband. And what I'm going to do is show you with a carburetor. So if you guys aren't carburetor guys like me, um, we have here the idle mixture screws. And I just want to give you guys a quick backstory on on this, I guess, real quick. <clears throat> Demon, whenever they give you this carburetor, they say to set these, you turn you turn them to to the barely seat, and then you go out two full turns, um, counterclockwise. So these are about that. Then you can fine tune it with um, air fuel gauge or a um, vacuum gauge, whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank it up show you what the air fuel ratio gauge is and then i want to turn these just a quarter turn to the left and that will open up the um the, the fuel mixture so it should richen it up and i'll show you that right now first i got to get the keys <clears throat> Something else you guys would probably be interested in knowing. The uh, car's already been brought up to operating temp. So I'll go ahead and fire it up now. Okay, it takes a little bit to heat up. Okay, so now I'll show you guys driving the car. Uh, you'll notice um, the filming is not the best quality, but it gets the idea across. If you look at the right, you'll notice the vacuum gauge, and that tells you how much load is being put on the engine. And then on the left, I have the air fuel, the air fuel ratio gauge. Uh, the first hit I do, uh, the air or the vacuum gauge goes down to about seven inches of mercury which the way my carburetor is set up is enough to actuate the, um, I guess for lack of a better term right now, uh, the power valve. And you can see the carburetor compensating for that and it shows up on the air fuel ratio gauge as well. For the second hit, I open that throttle almost immediately you can see the vacuum gauge go down to zero and you can see the air fuel ratio gauge go very lean momentarily and then it starts to recovery, uh, recover and about that time I went ahead and let off the throttle anyways. And the third and final hit is kind of a combination of the other two. Kind of aggressive, but not too aggressive. All right, well that's it. I showed you that adjusting the idle mixture screws actually shows up on the air fuel ratio gauge. Whenever you punch the throttle real quick, it'll lean out the engine and it shows up like as soon as it leans out, it seems like that gauge is showing it as well. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention about the gauge, 
on video, sometimes it looks like it's blinking or flashing. That's just something that happens uh, whenever I film it with my phone. In real life, it doesn't do that. Another thing about this gauge, I'm not 100% that it's completely accurate, but just like a timing light or any other gauge that you might use, it's a good reference point. So you know if you're going the wrong way or the right way within reason. Uh, and that is it until next time.